Okay, so let's talk about the Alex Math Placement Exam. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you are studying for the Alex Math Placement Exam, and that is definitely a smart move. A lot of people just kind of show up and take the Alex Math Placement Exam, and then they kind of place into whatever math course that they, you know, reflects the score they got on that day. But that's not a really a great strategy because if you have math skills that could put you in a higher level math class, uh, you know, you don't want to repeat a math course that you already know because that's going to be a waste of your time and money. So you definitely want to study as much as possible for the, your Alex Math Placement exam and get into the highest level math course that you possibly can. All right, so what I have for you here is a practice problem that you should be able to do pretty easily if you are fully prepared for the Alex Math Placement Exam. And the type of math that you're going to see on the Alex Exam is basically basic math all the way up to advanced high school level math, i.e. Um, uh, we're talking a lot of geometry, algebra, algebra two, these type of concepts like that. But uh, this problem should be pretty easy for most of you out there, obviously you're going to college. So here is the problem, we have a function and the function is f of x is equal to the square root of 2x plus 5. And what we want to do is find the domain of this function under the set of real numbers. Okay, so this is the problem. And if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. I'm also the founder of TC Math Academy, and at uh, TC Math Academy, I have well over 150 plus math courses to include a very comprehensive and very successful Alex Math test prep course. Now, this is a 25 chapter uh, math course. Now, you're not going to be able to kind of go through the entire course, but it is like the ultimate math review. So you can really uh, understand all the concepts from basic math into advanced high school level math. If you can get through everything in my course, you're going to do very, very well on the Alex exam, the Alex math placement exam. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and uh, check out or follow the link in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and get into this problem right now. Okay, so functions is a huge topic in algebra, and hopefully you understand uh, a thing or two about functions, because if you don't, this is definitely a topic you're going to need to review. And domain is what? Well, the domain of function, or the domain of a function, is the set of numbers, the set of values that we're allowed to plug into the function. So that is what the domain is. And uh, the question here has to deal with the real numbers. So in other words, this function, we're only going to be uh, talking about uh, the real number system, which is basically uh, the real number line, like so. We're not talking about complex numbers and or imaginary numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So the domain of this function could be expressed in different ways, but basically it's all x's that are greater than or equal to negative 5 over 2, where x is an element of the real number system. Okay, so this is only one way you can express the domain, but uh, there are other ways using interval notations and graphs, etc. But basically, they're all equivalent. So if you got this right, that is fantastic, but by no means does that mean that you're fully prepared for the Alex. There is a ton of other topics. And if you didn't get this right, just use this video as feedback. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. All right, so as I uh, indicated, the domain of a function is the values that we are allowed to plug into a function. Now, when it comes to a function in the set of real numbers, pretty much we can plug anything into a function, but there are two restrictions that we have to look out for. And the first is square roots. Okay, now I'll, you can kind of see here, I'm explaining this in a second. So if you see a function with the square root, kind of have to be on high alert. And the second is a function where you have a fraction. Okay, so basically, when you have a function where there's a fraction, you can never have a situation where you end up with a zero in uh, the denominator. And when you have a function that has a square root, you can never have a situation that, and you, that uh, allows a negative underneath that square root. So basically, uh, when it comes to this function, 
we don't have a fraction, so we don't have to concern ourselves with a zero in the denominator. But 2x plus 5, well, this right here can never be negative. So 2x plus 5 can be zero or positive. So we can kind of uh, write an inequality and say, okay, 2x plus 5, uh, where are you um, greater than zero, which means positive or equal to zero, because the square root of zero is zero. We just can't find the square root of negative values in the real number system. Now, of course, you can find those values in the complex and or imaginary number system. But remember, this problem specifically said, hey, we're dealing with real numbers. OK, so basically, this problem is pretty easy, especially if you know how to work with inequalities, which, of course, is another topic that you'll definitely see on the Alex. So we're going to just go ahead and figure out the solution to this inequality. 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So what we're going to do here is subtract 5 from both sides. Basically, you're going to kind of do the steps as if you were solving an equation uh, in an equation. So we have 2x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Now, just because this is negative, a lot of you might be thinking, don't we flip the inequality sign? No, that's if you're dividing both sides of the inequality by a um, negative number. So if I had a situation like this, now we're dividing both sides by negative 2. This is where you uh, reverse the inequality. See over here, this is just a negative 5. So just in case some of you were thinking that I should uh, uh, reverse this inequality symbol, that's not the case. All right, so all I need to do here is divide both sides of the inequality by 2, and you get all x's that are greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. All right, so again, there's different ways we can express uh, this answer. So we can say the domain is all x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves, where x is an element of the or a member of the real number system. Again, uh, there's uh, interval notation and even other ways. Okay, but uh, hopefully this little video was interesting. And again, uh, use it as feedback, whether you got this right or wrong. You could definitely do very well on the Alex, but you got to study in advance. Okay, study as much as possible because you're going to be placing into a math class anyways. So, you know, you might as well place into the highest level math as possible. So learning math in advance or reviewing math, it's just going to pay off. It's a win-win situation. So whether you, uh, you use my math course or another math course or some other material, you know, study as much as you possibly can. It will pay off. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the Alex exam. Thank you for your time and have a great day.